Now I'm going to demonstrate how to download and install Kali Linux using a VMware environment. Begin by opening your web browser. Then browse to www.kali.org. Then from the main page, select the Downloads option at the top. And from this site, you can either enter your information to receive updates, or you can select No Thanks, Just Want to Download. We'll go ahead and do that. And then select the configuration for your distribution. I'm going to go ahead and go with the default and click Download Kali. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop. Once your download is finished, open up VMware. And then we're going to create a new virtual machine. Select Player, then File, New Virtual Machine. And then select the ISO option, and then Browse. And then browse to the location of your new downloaded Kali Linux ISO. Click Next, select Linux. Then Next. Then enter your virtual machine name. Then next, select your disk options. And then finish. Then double click on your virtual machine to start running. From the main boot menu, select graphical install. Then select your language, your location, and your keyboard layout. As you can see, most of the installation process is pretty self-explanatory. Then select a host name for your system. And we'll leave the domain name blank since I'm not adding it to a domain. And then select a root password for your root account. And then select a time zone for your clock. And then configure your disk options. I'm going to go ahead and go with defaults on these. And then continue. And then yes for write changes to disk. Once the installation process is completed, it'll reboot to this screen. Select the first option. And then you get your login screen. Because the root user won't show up on your login screen, you'll have to select other. And then enter your username as root. And then use the password that you configured during the installation process. And then click login. And there you have it, your fully installed Kali Linux distribution for penetration testing.